What's up guys, Mr. Audio here and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed and while you're down there, hit the like button and smash the notification bell so you never miss another video. Alright, before we get into this video here, I do want to mention that we've recently put together a Discord where you can ask all your music production related questions, get private feedback directly from me on your mixes, and also suggest video content that I might cover here on YouTube. Alright, that being said, let's get right into the video. I've done a few videos on using Isotopes Nectar and Vocal Synth to create harmonies and doubles and things like that, but I never really went over the MIDI mode of Vocal Synth. This time I'm going to show you how to create natural vocal background harmonies with Isotopes Vocal Synth 2 using chords you may already have in your production. So what I've done is I've taken some MIDI notes that I had already in the production and I brought them down to its own MIDI track and I'm using Isotopes Vocal Synth to follow those chords and create my background harmonies. Now I do this in parts of every chorus throughout this song and it's an acoustic song so you gotta imagine I made it sound pretty natural so that it fits with this tone of the song but it still retains that smooth vocoder sound that we all know and love in modern music today. Let's dive right in here and I'll show you how I do this. We're gonna build out the vocal synth right in front of you, all right? But I do have the vocals already chopped out to the syllables I want them to react to, as well as I've already chosen the MIDI notes that I want the vocal synth to react to as well. But I'm gonna show you what settings in vocal synth I like to use and then how to make it sound a little bit more natural at the end. Let's get in here and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so let's just listen to what we got here in the first chorus where there's no vocal synth track being played at the moment. They say it's cold outside at night And I was bold and you were bright And it sounds great, all right? I'm not saying it doesn't sound great, but I feel like we can thicken it up. This is good for the first chorus, but I like my songs to tell a story, and I like my choruses to get progressively bigger and more epic over time. So that's exactly what we're going to do with this, and as you can see right here, I have completely done that. I've automated the volume in the third chorus so that this vocal synth track gets a little louder, and I've put more in the second chorus than in the first chorus. I only accented the end of the first chorus, so that's kind of how I like my track to tell a story in climax at a very big moment at the end all right so we're going to focus on the end right here and i'm going to zoom in so we can see what's going on here all right i'm going to solo this vocal synth track out let's throw it on here and see what happens so immediately i'm going to shut the vocoder off i'm going to turn up the gate to about 40 something all right because you don't want vocal synth to try to replicate a breath. It just doesn't work. It sounds artificial and kind of phasey. So try to gate all the breaths and mouth clicks out of the performance. And I'm going to throw the width 100% up. This is so that it not only reinforces the vocals behind it, it's also pushed out to the sides. So it really backs it up and makes it sound super full. Let's turn BioVox on and see how that sounds by itself. Say it's called... Now let's crank the breath setting and see what we get. Bring it up to like 40. Say it's cold, dark night. Wow, it's already starting to sound a bit better. Let's turn on Polyvox here and see how it sounds now. Now remember, this is the same pitch as the original lead vocal. We haven't done anything to the pitch yet or made it follow the MIDI notes. So let's just listen to it, how it sounds with just the characters of these vocoders, all right? Say it's cold that night. And now you can see these background vocals really taking shape. Let's turn this in MIDI mode right here. Click on MIDI, follow these instructions here. Click accept, you're gonna go down to your MIDI track and put it on that, and as you can see, it's already got Vocal Synth 1 selected. If you have another Isotope product here, like Nectar, it'll automatically try to do that because you can create harmonies with Nectar as well that follow MIDI notes too. I think I've shown a video on that. If I haven't, I will. But I prefer using the Vocal Synth 
harmonies when you're creating false harmonies like this it just fits better in most modern mixes and people listen for it it's like a little bit of an ear candy if you will so let's hear it with the mini notes now just by itself Say it's cold, dry, now wow that's incredible now let's hear it with just the lead vocal all right they say it's cold outside at night. That's incredible. All right, so let's hear it with the entire song just to see if we've got it right. They say it's cold outside at night. I'm hearing a bit too much top end. Let's throw an EQ8 on that. Not only are we going to roll off the top end, we're also going to roll off the bottom end to get rid of any unwanted frequencies. Let's just kind of tighten this up here around 90 or so hertz they say it's cold outside at night now it's sounding really nice and i was bold and you were bright just wanna love don't wanna fight yeah think i was crazy and wrong to fall in love but i was half Right. Yeah. Wow. Well, sometimes I just get lost in my own mixes. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you stuck around till the end, go download the free Ableton Master Rack. I'll leave the link down in the description and come hang out with us on Discord, all right? It's a lot of fun. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mr. Audio, out.